what's up youtube it's rs mario here bringing you another episode of the award-winning highly regarded fan loved series Bay Theater. all right so of course it's monday so it's time for another episode of fake league theater and today we have two pretty interesting leaks for you today one of them that is definitely fake the other one is, has promise it has promised to be real, but it's probably fake. So, of course, like, comment, subscribe, and do all that stuff that YouTube requires you to do in order to continue to get videos from me. Let's get into it. Uh, so, first off, we have the uh, the first leak here. Now, this was supposed to be a, a grass ghost type Pokemon based off of, uh, uh, I've heard burnt sunflower seeds or dead sunflower seeds um it looks pretty interesting you know what i'm saying it, i mean it looks kind of sword and shieldish because we know that there's a slightly higher bit of detail in the generation 9 models or in the, the the scarlet and violet models compared to say the sword and shield models but uh it does look pretty good though i mean another grass ghost type wouldn't be bad you know i mean i, I dig that typing it looks cool, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then we have another one. Uh, this one looks like Mike Wazowski. It literally looks like Mike Wazowski with wings and, and, and a little pointy horn hat and the tail. That's, that's it. It looks like Mike Wazowski. Uh, interesting, but uh, yeah, it, this is probably fake. This one looks faker than the other one. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. The other one looked look kind of promising. This one... This one is definitely like hella fake, you know what I'm saying? But interesting though, you know what I'm saying? Again, this one doesn't even look like a ghost flying type. This looks more like a dark type, you know what I'm saying? All right, so our second rumor of the day is from Peace McGee. Now, I've never heard of Peace McGee, but from what people are saying on Reddit is that he has been throwing out some information lately and he's built up quite a following, which could mean that either he is legit or he is another faker. So we don't really know. But that's why he on Fake League News. So, you know, Fake League, fake league Theater. So, you know, he could be fake, he could be real. Uh, but it's Monday after all. So in order to combat the most boring day of the week and to thank you all for following, uh, I will answer the first three questions to the best of my limited knowledge below this tweet. One question per person. All right, so the first question comes from Noob King. He says, uh, can you describe the legendaries of both versions? And he says, basically, Scarlet's legendary is based on the rooster Barcilios. Uh, it is a fighting psychic type. So now, I don't know a great deal about Barcilios because Barcilios is a Portuguese myth. So basically, it's part of Portuguese mythology. It involves a, I believe, a rooster getting a guy off on some sort of case. Like, uh, let's see, Barcilios. Rooster. Yeah, the folktale of the rooster Barcilios tells the story of a dead rooster's miraculous intervention in preventing an innocent, a preventing the, it, pro proving the innocence of a man who has been falsely accused and sentenced to death. You know, uh, so then we have another one. We have, uh, let's see here. Then he says, the violent legendary is based on a toxie. Its typing is fire ground and it's not a bipedal bull. So now a toxie, I had already did some research into so a toxi is basically a, 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 a part of Bosque mythology. Now the Bosque people are like these kind of pre-reconquista, like basically historical Iberians. So they're people like before the Muslims came in, you know, before the reconquista, before they became an empire. These are the people who were native to that area. Just these native, like historical Europeans. And um, they basically had this myth that involved this god named Mari, and Atoxi was kind of like her bodyguard, or kind of like her enforcer. 
So people who like you know you know cheated her or whatever, they would get a visit from uh, from uh, from a toxie, which was this bull type of character. Now I hope it is bipedal. I mean because like a, a, a bipedal bull would be kind of cool, but uh, I, I mean if, if it's if it's you know a quadruped that kind of works too. Um, let's see. All right, so then, can you describe the starter evolutions? Can you start? Can you describe what the starter evolutions look like? Uh, I've only heard the descri their descriptions. Unfortunately, they sound amazing. I can, I can see many struggling on which to choose as a partner. So Spaghettido will remain a quadruped, which I can kind of understand that. Fuikoko is indeed a crocodile with what sounds like uh, Spinosaurus features. So if you don't know Spinosaurus, it's like, basically, it's, it's this dude. It's got like, it, it's basically got this frill right here. You know what I'm saying? That's Spinosaurus. So, I mean, which is interesting. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have kind of suspected it would be something like this. He would evolve into like a dinosaur type of deal. But then he said Quaxley, he just says Arg. So a lot of people have said that Quaxley is probably going to evolve into something related to the Spanish Armada, which is the old school Spanish Navy, or uh, like a, a pirate, essentially, which either way kind of works. You know, how's the open world in the game? In one word, stellar. A step far above Legends Arceus. Now, honestly, when it comes to open world, like, being above Legends Arceus really isn't, I mean, it's not that, well, it's a big deal, but Legends Arceus kind of pushed it so forward that, you know, I mean, the only thing you can really do is just connect all those regions together. Because Arceus has basically these open regions, these little open parts of a world, but they're not connected. All the, the main thing that they would have to do is just connect those open worlds. So that way I can just get to each one of these places by walking there and not having to, you know, get teleported there. You know what I'm saying? Make it a real open world, you know. Are there gyms in the game? Absolutely. Now this one's interesting because I've heard most of the rumors I've heard, people are saying that there are no gyms in the game and that the game is based around being in a Pokemon school. And so your your gems or trials or, or you know you know are basically assignments that are given to you by your teacher. You know, go out kind of like Legends Arceus. You know, oh you know you go to this region and catch these Pokemon, help this this warden do a thing and calm down. You know, uh, quell this Pokemon. Blah blah blah. Something similar to that, just not the exact same thing in Legends Arceus. So him saying that there are gems in the game is pretty interesting, um, and I'll do I'll do like two more because uh, I don't want this to be too long. Uh, it, of course, if you wanted to read the entire thread, you can actually go over to his Twitter and just do that. Um, next one is: Can you prove your credibility as a leaker uh, without losing my losing the job of my fellow peer and my own? Not uh, not really. It's entirely up to the community as far as believing goes. I'm just relaying the information I've come across. My goal is just that. Thanks for the question. And then he doesn't answer this one. Regional bird typing. Any good regional forms? Yeah, so he doesn't answer the rest of them. So that's really about it. But yeah, so interesting. What do you think? I'm thinking that I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be 50-50 on this one. I'm thinking this one is, is, is a 50-50 chance. Because, see, I've, I've learned from that Spain leak that I talked about that, you know, just, just immediately dismissing something like this could be wrong. Because I did that Spain video, and it turned out to be spot on, <laughs> you know. So whoever that was on Reddit, like, a year and a half ago, they hit that gen out, the, out, out of the park. Um... So yeah, what do you think? Do you think Peace McGee is 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 wrong, or you think that he is a lot is lying? Do you think that Mike Wazowski looking Pokemon is real? Tell me in the comments down below, and of course, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, folks, keep it real.